When Rashid Yusuf, a father of seven from Majengo, brought his wife Shamsi Angina to the Pumwani Maternity Hospital to deliver his eighth child on Monday, 17 September, he knew he would leave this facility with a newborn. But that is not how his story turned out. <laughs> I think by then we are going to So, I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to go to the house. It's not helping that now Pumwani is on the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Regarding the issues of mothers losing their babies, it's unfortunate nobody celebrates the loss of a life. We are trying to solve the problem. We need assistance, we need our consultants to take responsibility, to aid our hospital raise from the ashes. Even with all the back and forth that this scandal has brought to Pumwani Maternity Hospital, women are still coming here to give birth to their children and for either an elective or an emergency CS. Tuesday, the Senate Committees on Security and Health visited Pumwani to flex their oversight muscle. Sulu sio kufuta watu kazi. Sulu ni kuongeza madaktari hapa na nurses hapa. Narudi pale Senate Na tutataka kujua ile pesa tunambayo tunapeana katika counties. Sana sana county ya Nairobi. Tunaenda kusamon governor Sonko. Aji atueleze ile pesa yote tumepeana katika health. Imefanya ime, ime kazi kwanjia ipi. The quality of health care that we are giving our mothers and sisters is completely wanting. Today, Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko also drew more public attention when he delivered cooler boxes to Pumwani Maternity Hospital as a donation which he says is meant to be used as a temporary storage facility for the bodies of infants that die here. A move that has not augured well with the county assembly and also in the court of public opinion. For Rashid, all this is a little too late. His faith bids him to bury his infant daughter as soon as possible. I busy attending on someone. Alafu wakisha maliza ndo wakati authority ya kuchukua mwini. Kulingana na imani yangu, minajua everything happens for a reason. So, siyezi blame au madaktari. Nafikiri miyazi mungu alikuwa meandika hivyo. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.